Welcome to Santorini. Hey, we're landing in Cannes and we're continuing our Mediterranean Greek Isles cruise vlogs where we are spending 24 hours in the beautiful Santorini, Greece. And today we're going to give you a couple of tips if you're cruising to this destination. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to click that subscribe button. So we are in Santorini this morning. We haven't even gone into the main part of the city and it is just beautiful. So we have a private tour booked at 9 o'clock where a guide is going to take us around all the highlights. We will bring you along and let you know all the things that you need to hit when you come to Santorini. So when you arrive in Santorini on your cruise, you're actually going to take a ferry from the cruise boat to the bottom of the cliff. And since Santorini is a cliff top city, you've got a few different ways, a few different options that you can take to get to the top. We did the cable car and that's about six euros a person, but you can also walk or take a donkey. But if you're walking, you run the risk of stepping in donkey poop. So good luck with that. After exploring a little bit of the port, we actually met up with our guide for the day, Natalia, and we booked a private guide on Viator to take us to all of the highlights of Santorini because if you're on a cruise, you have limited time, and so you want to make sure that you get to see the best of the best of Santorini. If you do end up booking a private tour in Santorini, be sure to ask for Natalia. She's amazing. And here is some of her life advice whenever we asked her about what traveling means to her. When you start traveling, like every country and people you meet, they change you. So you never come back home the same, you know? So yeah. it's, like, it's, it's, it's like, this is how you become actually rich, right? So it right. gives you experience. It's like our experience with you today. I feel, <laughs> Thank I feel you. that exact same after exploring the most popular parts of Santorini, Ia and Thera, we made our way over to a smaller town called Megalacori. It's much less crowded than Ia and Thera, and we found the cutest little store to buy some handmade souvenirs. If you add Mega Liquori to your daily itinerary in Santorini, you have to stop by the store Studio Leather Transit. All of the goods are handmade leather items. We got quite a few things for gifts for people and probably spent too much money, but still such a cool experience and it's authentic goods from Santorini. 10 out of 10 would recommend. After exploring this cute little town, Natalia took us back to Thera where we concluded our private tour of Santorini. We did stop by the beach though before we headed back, which was great, and she took us to one of her favorite restaurants in Santorini. <laughs> So we are at Pelican Pipos, which is a restaurant that was recommended to us by our guide Natalia. She said this is one of her favorite restaurants in the city. She would go here like once a week if she could, if not more. Um, so check it out. So this is the grilled feta cheese. This is the stuffed colette flour with more cheese. And then this is the fried cheese. I can't remember what kind it is. But I think they said nacho. They said say nacho. I don't know what they mean by it. But that's what uh, Natalia told us. Yeah. Yeah. And some pita bread.
Do you like it? Very good. I don't know what to compare it to. I know. That's so good. So, Kipos, the restaurant that is more modern Greek cuisine than traditional Greek cuisine. And it is amazing. You have to come here if you come to see Santorini. Thank you, Santorini, for such a good time, but we still have three more stops on our Mediterranean cruise where we will be stopping in Ephesus, Turkey, Mykonos, Greece, and Athens, Greece, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up with all of our adventures, travel tips, and content, and thank you so much for watching.